Hello, I'm going to talk about a bit about the Spanish scale today. Um, one of my favourite scales. Uh, to make, I use it really to make any song kind of sounding a bit exotic, you know. Um, so as as usual, I'll I'll play through, break it down, and then I'll show you a few improvised and a few structured examples of how it could be fitted into a song just to make it sound a little bit more exotic and a bit more foreign sounding yeah okay um the easiest key i would say to do it in is um e um so that starts with the open string open e string and then f g sharp a B, C, D, and then E again, and then back down. E, D, C, B, A, G sharp, F, E. Okay, so that's open string first. Uh, um, e string open, open, uh, and then. F, first fret, E string, G sharp, fourth fret, E string, A, open string, A string, B, second fret, A string, C, third fret, A string, and then the open D string, and then the E, second fret, D string. Um, now that's one way of doing it. Um, I personally don't use that way very much. Um, the other way of doing it is per string. That's the really easy kind of fun way of remembering it. If you just uh, and then you can transfer it, of course, onto the other strings. And that's that's a really easy way of remembering um, the scale because a lot of um, the Spanish sounding stuff. Um, is in E, or it's quite easy to write um, Spanish sounding stuff in E. So if we, I'll, I'll show you it on one string, and then you can easily transfer that to the other the other three strings. Um, so I'll do it on the E string again. Um, so basically, uh, I'll do it with notes and tab. Okay. Um, so the open open E string, and then we've got F first fret. G sharp fourth fret, A fifth fret, B seventh fret, and then C eighth fret, and then we've got D tenth fret, and then E, and you could always go up to the to the flat nine. So you can do something a bit like this. So um, I'll uh, I'll demonstrate. Okay, it's kind of an idea. This is a kind of a similar sounding to uh, like the Pulp Fiction theme tune. I don't know if you've heard of the Pulp Fiction theme tune, but uh, um, kind of the, the idea of it. That's a really um, easy thing that uses the the Spanish scale. <laughs> Something along the lines of that, um, but that kind of idea. I'll play that again for you. So that kind of thing, and then of course you can move that up uh, the scale up again onto the A string. Really easy way of remembering that um, that scale, um, yeah. Uh, and of course, the same principle applies with. Uh same as before, you just transfer your fingers. Up. Um, okay, so that's uh, that's just a brief introduction on the Spanish scale. Um, 
again, yeah, if you want to make things sound a bit foreign and a bit exotic, um, one thing I've noticed that a lot of people who don't know the Spanish scale but think it sounds Spanish um, is instead of going to the um, G sharp, if you stick an E uh, here for now, a lot of people tend to do this, they go E, F, and then G, A. Okay, that sounds kind of exotic, but remember that the the actual Spanish scale is to the G sharp. With the augmented um, third. Okay. Um, uh, yeah. So just try and remember that when when people are because uh, I, I have a tendency to do that in one of the songs that I do with my band. Um, it's in uh, A flat and um, I go up to the to the. Um, uh, the the e, uh, C rather than the B. Um, yeah, just to give it that extra kind of, you know, Spanishy twist. Uh, so that's yeah, that's just a brief introduction on the Spanish scale. Um, if you'd like to uh, me to show you like other positions of the Spanish scale, uh, I'm I'd be happy to make another video and uh, show you in different keys as well if you like. Um, but yeah, using that standard shape. Um, the fingers for that standard shape are um, open, first, fourth, open, second, third, open, second. For your fingers, okay? Okay? It's fairly straightforward. Um, and the same with uh, all of the scale patterns if you learn that pattern or that shape you can move that around uh, the strings uh, but uh, I would suggest for now uh, stick with the one string exercise that I've shown you and then the the, the string crossing exercise uh, and I could show you another one in another video okay